Welcome to the Success Sensei Podcast for anyone interested in success, happiness, and balance. We'll teach you how to be a black belt at life. And now, your host, former professional fighter, multiple world champion, entrepreneur, and investor, Robert Devan. Bowing in. This is Roundhouse Rob, the Success Sensei, helping you to win at life one kick and punch at a time. Episode 92. And it's the Friday Blitz. The Success Sensei Friday Blitz coming at ya. What's your second income? No, not the income or the pay packet or the wages of your spouse or your partner. What's your second income? What do you mean you only have one income coming in? What are you talking about? You should have several streams of income. Now, experts are constantly spouting on about having multiple streams of income. Let's just worry about a second one for the moment. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Small steps. Slowly, slowly, catchy monkey. Small steps. So, hopefully you have one or a first form of income hopefully you have a job or a source of income or you know you're self-employed hopefully you have an income first of all what's your second source of income so do you have one if you don't have one have a think about one it could be related to what you're already doing so it could be so if you were a tradesman you would have your nixers i don't know if that's an international term so i don't know if only an irish audience are going to understand what a nixer is so a nixer is you have your monday to friday nine to five and then a saturday and sunday you have your own customers that you do stuff for off the books away from the job away from the boss that would be a nixer so your second income what's your second income uh, there's no reason why nowadays with all the technology we have, with all the opportunity that, that we have, that you couldn't be making some kind of a money on the side. And maybe you're in a job, maybe you're not, maybe you're lucky now you're, that you're in a job that you absolutely love. Maybe you're in a job that you're not mad about and you have other interests. Maybe you're in a job that you love and you have other interests. Well, try to make your second income something to do with you know, your hobby or your love or your pastime. Um, try to make it something that you know you're going to learn from the process as well and enjoy. In other words, a side hustle. They call it different countries call it different things. I think America is it's it's you know synonymous with your side hustle. So your second income or your second job. Yes, you should have a second job, um, not just a first job. Now I don't know. As I said, what country you're in listening to this, I don't know where you're from, but I can tell you something for nothing. You can be in a, a high paying job in this country, in the in lovely Ireland, and you can still feel that you've got very little to show for yourself. You can still have money worries. You can still be struggling. So I do think that for, you know, not to have an over-reliance on your job, not to have not to be so panicked about your financial future to have a second income is nice have a third fourth fifth sixth etc seven seven pillars of strength is amazing but just to have a second income is super even if it's only small something that you enjoy if you manage to build it up you never know your side hustle could become your main job while you're work you could turn it into a business you could sell it off you could it could spring so many other opportunities you just don't know the permutations of your second source of income so have a think about it look on the internet buy there's books about it there's audio books about you know potential ways of of making money but as i said don't it's not just about the money it should be something that interests you it should be something that comes from within like if you were to write something and sell it wouldn't that be absolutely amazing um there's a lot of there's a lot of famous authors that wrote a book and, and had self-publish and have done really really well and um, because a publisher wouldn't take their books so and that was their second source of income they had another job there's, there's there's many examples of people that have set businesses up on the side not thinking that they'd be grow to anything and then have suddenly being you know suddenly be turned into absolute monsters and made them a lot of money and success if you need that type of motivation you should just look just you know read an autobiography or, or have a look at a documentary or, or a television series about people who have 
come up from absolutely nothing. There's, there's so many. I won't even start listing people because you could do a podcast on each individual successful person if you really wanted. This is about you and about getting more success for you. It's not about jk rowling and how she was you know she wrote the harry potter and then suddenly is taken it's not about those stories because i find those stories to be overwhelming for the average person so concentrate first on your second income what is your second income if you don't have one why not let's get going on your second income because then we can get going on your third income or we can increase your first income by having a second income and then increase your second income but you should have something going on even if it's only something small momentum creates opportunity if you don't try you'll never know hopefully that's given you a little bit of motivation and hopefully you have a very uh, rich and successful future coming up with your second income and beyond thank you for listening i'm roundhouse rob the success sensei life is a fight you can enjoy and win bowing out this has been the success sensei fighting the winning fight so add us subscribe like and comment keep those hands up and keep moving forward